Hello, and welcome to Memory to Video Productions presents the 12th Annual Salinas Californian All-Star Soccer Classic. I'm Chris Blair, with me is Myra Gomez, and we are going to be bringing you a live look in at what the action is going to be like this coming weekend. Myra, how excited are you about this? Beyond excited. I mean, I don't even know where to begin with the excitement. 12 years 12 of years. this. 12 years. It's been 12 years since I was a player. And yeah, you were on the ground floor in the inaugural season. What That's was that like? Right. I mean, to me, it was exciting. It was my last showcase. Got to play with all the girls I played throughout the summer in one high school game. It was exciting to see the entire community out there because this is what this event is. It's a community event. Right, I, this is my third year covering it and it is just so much fun seeing everybody get so involved and everyone just, yes. it's just a celebration of these great players. It's a celebration of this sport that everyone just loves so much. Right, and it's a celebration of the passion that the entire community shares for the love of the game. It's a celebration of these kids going on to their next step as players, as students, as athletes. It's just a huge celebration all the way around. Which it's, like they said, it's so much fun to be a part of and to build four teams of these excellent players. That's great. Right. Such an involved process. And we're really lucky that we're gonna have the guy that makes those selection processes, Mr. Glenn Cravens of the Salinas California is gonna come in and talk to us about what that process is like. That huge process that takes years and years, <laughs> yeah. it seems like, right? right? How's it going? Great to have you. How's it going? Glenn. So, as we were saying, this is a huge undertaking pouring over all of these different players. Why don't you speak to what that process is like? Well, we start at the beginning of the regular season. I'm calling all the coaches, emailing all the coaches, let them know the All Star Soccer Classic is back and it's going to take place at the end of the regular season. Let me know who some of your top players are to watch and I'll be in touch with you throughout the season. And we keep emailing them and calling them through the no. preseason, <laughs> through Christmas, through league play, and even sometimes uh, through the tournament. Uh, and then at the end of the regular season, we let them know that, hey, we would like to select uh, one or two or sometimes even three or four players to be selected on the All-Star team. How do you decide if it's two or three or four players from every team? Well, in some cases, we like to go by how they do that year or sometimes over the last couple years. Because uh, there are some schools like Salinas High's girls soccer team who had one of the greatest seasons in school history. They have multiple selections. And then there's some other schools who weren't as fortunate who get uh, one selection. So some of it's based on the individual talent. Other times, it's just based on how well they did that season. So it's, it's kind of a combination of both, right? Yeah, I would say it's a mix. Uh, okay. It's a good, healthy mix. Um, I don't try to leave it as hardcore, solid, <laughs> locked down um, <clears throat> rules, but uh, you know, to try to keep that in mind when I'm selecting. Now, you, you spoke of the communication within the coach. How much input does the coach have in this selection? The coach has a lot of input. Uh, I, from, the very, from the very beginning, as I mentioned, I'm letting them know, hey, who are some of the top players uh, that you have in mind that I should be looking out for this season. And then we're constantly contacting each other saying, okay, this player hasn't really lived up to expectations, so here's another player who's <coughs> risen above expectations, or here's a player who got injured and okay. is unavailable, or here's a player who just got injured, but he or she may be coming back by the end of the regular season, and don't count them out. Mm -hmm. How do you decide, when do you, I mean, when do you decide that that's it, that's the player you're going with? Well, in some cases, the player decision is, is kind of easy because sometimes one school only has one senior. Mm -hmm. And we've seen that um, this year and last year as well. Other times, <coughs> I usually wait until the end of the regular season because as we've seen, even this season, teams are playing for a league championship all the way until the final day. So they are busting their butts to make sure that uh, they, they <laughs> want to be picked for the All-Star game. Okay, speaking of picked, now, does every school, is every school represented? Every, we do our best, before I say every school is represented, <laughs> we do our very best to make sure that every school is represented. In some cases, um, that's unfortunately not the case, but um, we do our very best to make sure all of the schools from the Peninsula and uh, the Valley are represented. So they're all represented. What about the selection of the position? Does that come into effect when it comes to selecting the players? Well, what I like to do in terms of uh, the positions, I, I ask the coaches, please give me at least one nominee for offense and defense. And, and a lot of coaches help out in, in, that, in that 
in that aspect. Uh, when it comes down to it, if they only get one selection, I say, okay, give me your best player. Okay. And we do our very best to make sure that their nominations, whether it's one or two, uh, get selected onto the team. How long do you think it takes for you to finally say, this is the one player? It takes about 10 years. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Start really young, huh? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 like I said before, it, it, sometimes the school is so easy in, in which they only have one player to select. Mm -hmm. Other times, I have a list of four or five kids and I'm just seeing how they do throughout the regular season that I say, okay, uh, here's number one, here's number two, here's number three, and here's number four, and then we go from there. Okay, and when do you let them know? How do you let them know? I let them know at the end of the regular season, and sometimes, in most cases I call the coaches and let them know we would like to select these players. Other times, I'll see the player at the game, mm -hmm. and I'll just let them know right there that they've been <laughs> selected, and they just go crazy and <laughs> super fun. happy. Other times I go to the school and let the administration know, and you know they have like ceremonies, or impromptu ceremonies. Oh, yeah, well, wonderful. Well, it is a ceremony. We've just been yeah, talking about yeah. this. It's a ceremony, it's a celebration. What do you think we can expect this weekend? What are we celebrating this weekend? Well, if we compare it to last year, because last year was all about defense. We only saw three goals scored the entire two games. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot more goals. Now, I don't expect it to be five to four, okay. but expect a lot more kids to be doing goal celebrations. Okay, so like five per team, 10 per team, 20 um, per team. Yeah. I, mean, I like celebrations. So. Yeah, it could be a lot this, uh, this, this, this coming game. Well, that's, that's really exciting. These games are always so much fun to be a part of. We've been doing it for years. You've been doing it for years. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready to go. Okay. It, it's mm -hmm. only a couple days and it's going to be awesome. And personally, I would enjoy a more offensive game. I think that might be pretty fun. So, uh, well, defense but, wins championships. Well, there you go. <laughs> but this ain't no championship. <laughs> that's right. This it's is the final selection. This is your last go at it. Yeah. So, that's really awesome. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Glenn. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Uh, five to four. That would be interesting. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen that way. But it is really cool to see that insider look in what the teams are like. Uh, I know that lots of players, people get really involved. This is a big deal that people really want to be a part of. So being like that is just, I don't know, I'm excited. I, I, I always get jacked up for these things. And I'm extra lucky in that I have with me both of the boys team's coaches with us. Uh, and they're going to give us a little bit of insight about what to expect this weekend. Guys, how's it going? Doing really good. Thank you much. All right. You All right. Edgar, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves for those that aren't familiar with you. Well, my name is Art Warner. I'm the head coach of the wind. And I'm Edgar Lukeen, head coach of the Stingrays. Now, you guys have been involved in this event for a couple of years, is that right? That's correct. And what would you guys say is your favorite part about doing the event? You want to go first? You know. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Um, for me, the favorite part is, 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 um, is the level. You know, I go for, I'm a coach at York, and, uh, you know, I have a lot of academic players, and so the, the nature of coaching there is very much different than coming on and, and coaching with the very best players around. So I have to switch from one gear, you know, and, and go into high gear, which is really nice. How often would you say that you have to deal with a little bit of ego, especially since I know that these divisions are really, really competitive and you might end up with some players that normally maybe have a little bit of a rivalry or something like that? Yeah, you know, within the squad, you know, a lot of the way the kids act are the way they're greeted. So, you know, you treat them with respect. You tell them, you know, firmly how it's going to be. And uh, they need to show up to practice. They need to do their time. And if they do their time, you know, they'll get rewarded by playing. And I don't see too much rivalry between the two. Every now and then I'll get a, a player that box mm -hmm. at my coaching style or the fact that I demand more out of them rather than just kick the ball and hey, I'm the best guy in the world, you know, right. I, don't, I don't acknowledge that. I'm a team guy, I'm not an individual guy, and sometimes I rub individuals not so well. I can see that. Yeah. I think that's part of, you know, tough but fair coaching. Yeah. Um, so, Edgar, what would you say about the event and what it's like for you? It's just a great experience. I mean, I played in the event 10 years ago now, and uh, every year I've been doing it, I've come out with friends. You know, I've, I've had I have players show up this year that played in the past, so 
Uh, we actually had a couple guys from two years ago show up to one of our practices oh. uh, earlier this week. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you you, uh, you make friends. You uh, you're able to coach real good players, and uh, you know you, you send guys off with great memories. So, in the early goings of these practices, you basically only have like a week. Is that right? right. So, what's the atmosphere like? Say on day three when it's like you guys are in it and it's getting closer and you can start to tell it's coming. Well, uh, we we try to do some ice breaking activities at first. You know, we, we try to get everybody on the same page, everybody working for the same goal. Yeah, it's an exhibition game, but you know everybody wants to win it. Right. So uh, we we make sure uh, that everybody's on the same page. Everybody has a common goal, which is to win on Sunday, and. Uh, I'm just that the, the, the guys show up, they, they put in the work, and uh, yeah, we try to, we try to prep them as much as we can in one week right. for a game. So uh, it's tough, you know. Guys are coming in with different systems, different styles of play. Uh, so you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you can as a coach, and, and the players know that uh, you know, that their hard work will pay off if if you know they do what they're supposed to. So right. Now I remember our, we spoke um, of last year about what it was like when you had so much talent and so little time to put something together. And I remember you said that for you the key was just keeping it simple. You know, play, playing the game straight ahead. Yeah. That they these guys know what they're doing, um, yes. and they just gotta execute. Would you say that's still the case? Oh yeah, that's definitely still the case. In fact, when I coach <clears throat> this this league, I only have a week, so. It's not what I'm going to bring, it's what I'm going to have to leave out on the coaching thing because less really is more for these guys. You know, I try to give them a very basic theme um, and that theme carries into all of my activities and it, I just try to keep it as simple as I can because it's, you know, it's, it's not about what you can bring, it's what you leave out, I don't know, for me. And if you can make it fun and they're learning at the same time, then you produce a team. You know, yeah, that can compete, right? And because it is competitive at the end of the day, yeah. you know, it is an exhibition game, like you said. But there are bragging rights involved, wouldn't you say, Tom? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's for some. <laughs> 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 so, um, what is it like going against each other again? Because this is not the first time you've coached against each other, right? Right. No, no. <laughs> yeah, this is not the first time. <laughs> so, how much of the players' enthusiasm and excitement do you believe carries over to you guys, Edgar? Yeah, I mean, you know, quite a bit of it. You know. <laughs> well, I want to, I want to win as much as they do. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, this is going to be the third game I think I coach against start. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we've done well and. He has that well. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into specifics. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I want to win as much as they do. Right. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, we don't carry, you know, we, we don't brag as much as the kids do, but right. you know, it's I, fun. I like showing up the first day and telling the kids, hey, I won't defeat it, so you guys better keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really cool. Um, what about this team in particular, if anything, feels different to you than years past? Uh, in my case, it, it feels like a well-balanced team. I feel like everybody this year is, is close to being at the same level. Uh, in the past, uh, you know, we, we've had very good players and, and we've had some good players and, and some players that you know get, get carried with uh, or by the, the very good players. This year, I feel like we have a, a pretty solid team. Uh, everybody is just you know, about the same level, so uh, competitive. I mean, you know, 11 guys, get on the field so, so during practice they're all competing for a spot so makes it fun during practice and, and uh, keeps the level of competition high so yeah. um, when I was speaking with Glenn who helped put who is the guy that put the teams together essentially one of the things that he said was he's thinking that this could possibly be a little bit of more offensive here uh, now I know that's not necessarily what coaches like <laughs> these big crazy high scoring games but do you think there might be something to that I don't know. I had a, uh, uh, a pickup today, um, just a friendly, and that was high scoring. It was four to three, and so there was a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of good movement from both teams. Uh, my guys did uh, the All Stars did very very well. So I was surprised because I was training them. I was looking at them. Some of them looked kind of lazy. It looked like they weren't feeling it. 
boy, you put them on the field and they right. bring it, you know, and then you, then you see who they really are. And that's, that's exciting for me. And what do you think we can expect to see out of your team? Any, any surprises, any players to keep an eye on, any thoughts like that? Or, you know, maybe don't want to <laughs> give it away. Do tell. <laughs> well, yeah, who should he defend the most? It's, it's actually funny that you bring up the, the, the whole high scoring uh, factor. Uh, I was looking at stats earlier. We actually have Fabian Guzman from Sardad. He had, uh, I want to say, 24 goals total. Uh, and Christian Santibanez from Alvarez had 20. So just those two players had 44 goals and I think something like 30 assists combined. So. Uh, those are definitely players to look out for. Yeah, <laughs> and this is nothing new. I mean, this is on uh, NBA prep, so yeah. you can watch this all along. But so. I mean, as a coach, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of the high scoring because, I mean, there's right. no point in, in, you know, giving up three or four goals and putting yourself in a spot to score four or five. Right. All you need is one and, and hold your team to zero, so. Cool. Well, you can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, anything else that you want to add about the event, about the team, just your experience, anything? It's been an awesome experience for me. I mean, I am only two. We won't, you know, <laughs> we won't pat it. However, um, getting to work with the kids, um, you know, working with this guy, I mean, against this guy, with this guy, I mean, it's it's all good, you know. We, uh, I think we're kindred spirits, actually, and we both love this game. And I think we both love our kids too. If, oh, yeah. You know, it is what it is. So I, I look forward to playing on Sunday. I think the kids are going to have a great time. I th I'm hoping it's a close game. I'm hoping we win. <laughs> um, but if we don't, it's, it's going to be a great memory. Excellent. So. Excellent. Anything, guy? You buy yourself some boots this year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have this thing. He's got the snakeskin boots, and every time he wears them, he comes out on top. And I thought, <laughs> oh, you know, especially that first year with, uh, you know, Vasquez, I had Vasquez, I had Jordan Jones, I had all these guys, and he's all, you know what, I don't lose with my boots. And I looked at his boots and said, well, get, get ready. And guess what? He did not lose. So uh, he, he had it going. We missed a PK, and he made his PK. So let's see. To this day, I have not lost a high school game with boots on. So yeah, yeah that's right. We'll see. <laughs> So did you get some so boots or not? Are you wearing your boots? That's uh, the question. I'm wearing, He's wearing boots, the boots. Weather permits. <laughs> rain, baby, rain. But it ain't gonna rain. Baby. So that's the thing to look out for, the, yeah, boots. the boots. That's the secret exactly. weapon. That's the secret there. Okay, well, I'm really looking forward to it, gentlemen. Good yeah. luck out there. Well, thank and, you uh, much. It's yeah. really good talking to you. Absolutely. Right? See you soon. All right, right here. Take yeah. care. Yeah. All right, wow. Uh, Snakeskin boots, apparently that's the secret weapon. Uh, that's pretty exciting to me. Uh, these guys are they're great guys if you've known them if you are at any of their schools where they've coached uh, if you've been on their team before you know they're just delightful guys and you know third time really fun little competitive little rivalry there but you know they want to they want to have fun but you want to win and that's what it comes down to uh, now I am also extra lucky to have a third coach here. This is coach of the uh, girls Stingrays, is that yes. right? Yes. As Steve Russell. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Hi, Myra. Myra, welcome. So what can you tell us about, because this is your first year doing the All-Star class. Yes, it is. Yeah. What's, what's it been like jumping into that? Uh, intimidating, exciting. <laughs> um, it's been a, a, a nice experience uh, getting to know the girls over the course of the week. Um, you didn't know the process of the All-Star Game. It's been a lot of fun. And you say intimidating. How so? Well, I mean, I am in charge of the best seniors of multiple teams and multiple coaches. I'm in charge of making sure that they have a good game, a good experience, and that's a lot of, you know, a lot of pressure. In a lot, lot of, of pressure. So, yeah, Just a little, sure right? A good experience. Yeah. They want to win, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not putting that pressure on them. I told okay. them flat out. I don't really, ex I don't, you know, I don't care about the wins or losses. You guys are going to put enough pressure on yourselves. So. And so what has the week been like as these girls come together and as you realize, wow, there's so much talent, but I have so little time. Yeah, it's, that's, an, that's another intimidating factor, trying to gel all these really talented players. I'm not trying to teach them anything new. They're already coming with a really good skill set. My, my, my goal is to get them to work together really well, communicate, and have that kind of sixth sense that they get when they're playing with the team that they've been playing with for a long time. 
because we have such a short week to get them ready, my goal is to just try and get them to gel as a team and to enjoy to enjoy the process of being in this uh, all-star game. What kind of things do you do to bring them together? Um, I've been pairing a lot of them together with te uh, teammates from other schools and working you know the, those pair works where they're, where they're doing drills or doing a small side to try and get them to know other you know the other players from other schools so they're, they're at ease with each other so you know when they're playing in the game it's it's not like they're passing to a stranger they're passing to a friend to an actual teammate and have you been to get to previous games previous all-star games in the past since i started coaching 10 years ago i've been coming to every single one of these games for 10 years yeah when you guys played at the pit and you moved over to Alvarez and not Alice Al. It's been a really wonderful experience just so, to be a, a fan of the game. What do you think is going to be the difference now that you're actually on the other side? <clears throat> that you are the one coaching and bringing this experience to the players? Well, when I go with my wife, she's constantly telling me to shut up. Because <laughs> um, I'm, I'm coaching. I'm coaching. It's a natural thing to just, you know, say, you know, move that ball, you know, play it back, move it aside, switch sides. I can actually now, as a coach, kind of be a part of that whole process of the game and, and coaching, uh, coaching some of the best players in the county and being a part of this wonderful experience. So, so no wife telling you to shut up? No, no, I, <laughs> I don't think my wife's going to tell me to shut up. I think I'm sure my athletes are going to tell me to shut up. But, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really a hands-on, very vocal coach. Um, that's just my style of coaching. What sort of things have been somewhat unexpected for you as an outsider now coming in and doing it for the first time? Uh, seeing the amount of work that goes into this uh, into this game, it's not something that just happens. There's a lot of yeah. really committed, hardworking people behind the scenes making sure that these kids have a really great experience. And how did you find out that you were going to be one of the four coaches? Um, I got a phone call. Um, I actually got a phone call from, from Glenn from the Californian as well as uh, I had people who were involved with the committee telling me, hey, you know, we, we've been talking about you. And, which is a good thing, um, but They're it was, all it was good kind things. of a shock. It was kind of a shock. <laughs> we did talk about you. They were good things. <laughs> it was quite a surprise and, and quite an honor. So uh, to know that the things that I've been doing in the course of many of my years coaching, uh, you know, people have been paying attention, which is nice. It's mm -hmm. a really good. It's a really gratifying thing to think that people respect what you do as a coach. What do you think these girls are going to take from you in this short amount of time? Uh, <laughs> that's a very good question. I hope that. They have a really positive experience that uh, through my coaching style, maybe they learn a, a few things, um, but the, I just want them to walk away having a good memory from this. And what uh, spectators do you think we should look out for from your team? I have a really talented roster, I, I'll, I'll give you that. I have uh, four players from Salinas that I played for the league championship team, uh, Sandy, Priscilla, Cynthia, no, no, I'm sorry, Cynthia. Um, uh, Melissa Chin and Ashley Tibbs, they're all really great players. They're really tall compared to the players I'm used to coaching. I have, I have my two players from Salinas, I'm from Seaside, uh, Jasmine Vasquez and Sabrina Gopar. They're on the small spectrum of the roster. Um, I have really, I just, I have a lot of midfield players <laughs> and not so many defenders. I, I have like three forwards. Um, Clarissa from Alvarez is has really shown me that you know she has speed and she's kind of a bulldog on that ball. So I'm really excited to see what she can do on Sunday. Um, Juliana, uh, Juliana from uh, Carmel, our goalie. I'm excited to see what she can do. Uh, we played them uh, when I was coaching for CSI. We played them. Uh, I didn't get to see her as a goalie, though she wasn't playing that game. So I'm excited to see what she can do between the posts. Um, well, not to brag or anything, Clarissa is my niece, so oh. talent runs in the family, of course. <laughs> She's a talented player. Uh -huh. We played a small side mm -hmm. game, and I actually had to step in uh, and play, and, and yeah, she ran me over a couple times. So. Yeah, see, <laughs> I tell you, it runs in the family. <laughs> oh, well, that's awesome! It's it looking like it's going to be a really competitive environment. It pretty much always is. You know, you've been watching them Absolutely. for a decade. They're always great games, so. We're Speaking of great games, we were told this was going to be high scoring. What do you think is your look at this? I, th I don't think so. Maybe not, no. maybe not in this game. I think there's going to be good, there's good parity uh, with the, the amount of athletes on each team. I really think that's going to be a low scoring game, if anything. I mean, no more I, I, know some of, I know some of the players on, on the, uh, the wind are really good. Priscilla from uh, Alisal, Aida from uh, Monterey. These are really good, dogged players. They're very competitive. 
and I know both both teams do not want to lose. So no. gonna, they're gonna, it's going to be a tough 90 minutes. I don't think anybody wants to lose. Those games get more and more intense, it seems like, every single year. Yes. We did hear some good things about Priscilla, you know, great forward for LSL. I mean, we heard some great things about a lot of the players. I mean, they're there because they were selected to begin with. Yeah. So it's going to be an intense game, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of talent on both sides, all, all four teams, really. It's, it's great to get the best of the best and just let them duke it out. Yeah, I'm excited to watch the boys game prior to the girls game start. I think it's going to be a, a wonderful showcase of our, our local soccer talent. That's what we look forward to. Before Very we well. let you go, your yes. prediction. Oh, same race. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Myra. We look forward to Sunday. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> so, that does it for now. Unfortunately, we couldn't have the fourth coach with us, but either way, these are two games that are going to, they're going to live up to the name. They're going to be classics. They you, are. You already can tell just from the beginning. What are you looking forward to about this weekend? I want the celebration. I know, I tell you every single year, but I love the celebration. These kids, you know, they pour their heart out, they go out there. It's a challenge. Every goal they score, they're good goals. I mean, I am yet to see a goal that was lucky or a goal that was, you know, just out of the blue. Every single goal is hard work, it's battle, and that celebration is exciting because not only are they celebrating the goal that they scored for their team, it's this whole community that's behind them. And it's there for that showcase, that moment. I just, I love the celebrations. I want goals. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all want goals and we're, we're gonna get some either way. Uh, really looking forward to it. Only a couple more days to go. Uh, this Sunday, it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I I can't wait. These are these are always so much fun. That's right. These so. coaches they put in hard work to bring in these teams together, and we expect to see all of you out there. Expect to see all these players bring out their very best. Nothing else. All right. <laughs> well, thanks, Myra. I'm excited. Yeah. I'll see you there, and hopefully we'll see you there again. My name has been Chris Blair with Myra Gomez from Memory Video Productions, bringing you the 12th annual Salinas California All Star Soccer Classic.